Hey guys, Jibra here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Crossout. Hope you guys are doing well. So for today's video, we are revisiting the vault because when I first played them, it was basically the first time ever using them. So I gave my first impressions and I wasn't really impressed. I found them a bit too slow. You had to lead, it had to charge up and all those things are still there. They did increase the uh, projectile speed a little bit and something else I believe in the recent patch. So it got a little bit better, but it still feels kind of off. But after getting them myself and playing them for a while, they're actually really, really strong. Now the devs suggest that you play them with the Harpy Cabin or the Torero Cabin to increase the accuracy. So we're gonna try both cabins. And uh, yeah, I think this is actually good Clan Wars, uh, a good Clan Wars weapon because I'm getting sick of all those big Bigram spider machine gun builds. They have so much armor, they're really chunky and this thing can pop them really easily. I think so we're gonna try them out today again and see how we do now this is a pff, uh, maybe not my favorite style of build but we're gonna try it try it out I'm personally better with them on hovers and I think if you got a good hover build for clan wars these might actually be really good but I think you gotta hide them because the durability isn't that great only 209 so that might be a little bit of an issue but we'll see what happens so Let's quickly check what this build is made of so you guys can see maybe how you build to build it for yourself. So we got Apollo Generator, a oppressor engine, a Chameleon Mark II, six small tracks, two vaults, rocket launchers. We got a Harpy Cabin. We got a reload module and a averter module, which I'm not sure if both vaults are on the averter one there. Oh yeah, they both are. That is cool. That is cool to see. So hopefully that helps out a little bit to uh, keep our guns on for the entirety of the match. So without any further ado, let's uh, have some fun with this thing. All right, guys, we are on ship graveyard. Let's see if we can get some long range snipes. I believe I see a bot over there a little bit too high. What the heck are those walls doing? There we go. Beautiful head there. Oh. Okay, let's not focus on that flying hover bot. Good hits. Let's back it up a little bit. Lots of fire damage. Retcher builds coming back. Woke up. Okay, got that bot. Good hit on uh, that machine gun build. They both have. Oh my! I keep driving and fire. So annoying. All right, pretty good the hits there as well. Oops. Okay, we're gonna. Uh, mm, there's someone on Charlie. Let's try and get him. It's a squirrel guy with fire, and he keeps putting fire everywhere. Not gonna lie, on hovers, these are a lot easier to predict uh, when you need to fire. But on wheels, you need to position the build uh, correctly as well. Maybe on Omnis, this would be a little bit more effective. But I'm impressed our guns didn't fall off even though I drove through fire like a million times. So, uh, not bad. Alright, we are at Founders Canyon. Also, a thing about the vault is I think you need to put them like close together. So you get, get that, um, so you get less spread of the, the two projectiles firing next to each other. Because right now I kind of find that they're kind of spread out a little bit too much. 
see what I mean? There's like a whole volley going left on the left side and a whole volley on the right side. So I'm gonna try to put them closer together. Aw, oh, dang it. Ooh, that's a nice, uh, nice hit there. See, predict where they're going and you can get a massive hit in. I do think these need to be used on hovers though. Uh oh. Hovers is the way to go. I don't think these were meant for wheels. Oops, my bad, my bad, my bad, I'm sorry. What the? There's like someone over here. Ah, that was a. What? Oh, uh, you might. He's still over here. That's a good uh, prediction there. Let's do one more. That was a bad one. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Uh, oh I still have a thing. Oh, no. Hey, nice. Mm, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try. Uh, I'm actually going to try them on a hover build after this match i don't think this is the right build for it oh beautiful dude see what i mean that's that's what i mean like if you know how to predict them it you know it can deal amazing damage look at that only two hit 600 damage All right, guys, we're at the ship graveyard again. I'm still giving this build another shot. Uh, we got the Torero cabin now, so that should make them a little bit accurate. As you guys can see, the swirl is a little uh, is less spread. And uh, yeah, let's see how this one works out. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot tighter waltz <laughs> movement there. Just need to like land, land my shots. All right, let's uh, push up on someone over here. This guy's alone, so let's go for him. He's already fighting one of my teammates. Oh, he's fighting two teammates. My gosh. And he's still alive? There we go. All right. Uh, let's go for this guy over here. Looks like he's alone. Predict his movements. Wow, a little bit too slow. Otherwise, they would have hit. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got this guy over here. Skull cup. And just ram him. Beautiful hit there. Let's fall back. Go back. Ah, that's a bad prediction there. Oh, he's using the waltz as well. Okay, we just messed them up a little bit. We lost a bunch of armor as... Oh my god, I'm stuck to this wall. We lost a bunch of armor too, but I think it was worth it. Getting chased by a few people. Let's go back to my teammates. Oh, here we go. Oh, not the guy I wanted to get, but we did like a massive amount of damage on him. Oh, we need to get this guy. We need to get this guy. Oh, he's stuck. No, he predicted that. Ah! Oh, no. Are you freaking kidding me? Annihilator drones, man. Come on. Uh, oh, there's two of them. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Crossout really wants me to play on Ship Graveyard every single match. All right. We're back here on Ship Graveyard. Uh, let's see if we can get some better result. Oh, there we go. We got George a little bit. Just got to predict the shots. Beautiful there. Oh god. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Let's fall back a little bit. Cloak up. Let's get uh, that guy that shot rockets at me. That wasn't so nice. Oh, Kaiji build. Oh, okay. He's still he's standing still. He needs to stand still to fire. Oh man. A little bit too slow. I really need to try these on hovers after this match. Because I, I, I know they have a lot of potential. 
but wheeled versions might just not be enough. Okay, let's go. Ah, I was gonna cloak up and get him. No sauce. Oh, he's self-destructing. Oh, not on me, boy. Oh, our gun uh, didn't have enough uh, the right angle to shoot. There we go. Nice. All right. That's not bad. Yeah, oh, bye-bye, Connor. There we go. All right, who's next? We got three players left. They're on our cap. All right, let's go to cap, boys. Oh. Um, did he cloak up? He did. Oh, what the frick? Oh, God. Need help. Need help. Need help. Ah. Yeah, those worlds are deadly, too. All right, guys. Welcome to Sinto City. Uh, we got our hover build here with the walls and a averter module and also a reload module, of course. And with a Torero cabin instead of the Harpy cabin. Oh, don't come here, King. <laughs> don't come here. Let me get these free hits in. There we go. I like free hits like this. Nobody's shooting you and stuff like that. Okay, let's wait and focus on someone. There we go. That was a good shot. Get that Reaper guy there. Oh, one, only one volley. Uh oh, Ooh, that was close. Okay, okay, they're focusing me now. All right, let's back it up. Let's back it up. There we go, that Reaper built strip. Gotta watch out for this guy or something. He might come for me. There we go, beautiful, beautiful. My team might be... Oh, yeah, we might lose. Our team is almost gone. And we got a beefy spider build left. All right, let's test this out. Let's see if this actually works against beefy spider builds. Not really. <laughs> Ouch. There we go. Good hit. Come on, blow up. He's pushing up. Oh, it's a bot. All right. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Got a beefy mammoth build left. There we go. Oh, beautiful hit. Dude, I'm dealing a ton of damage here. Walk into it, hell yeah. Oh god, freaking idiot. I didn't even watch the cap. Ah, oh, that was my bad. Well guys, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. So from that flash match, um, it seems like the waltz is still kind of struggling to deal with those big beefy spider bigram builds with cannons and stuff like that. Uh, maybe if you're a little bit more experienced or have a better shot, you can like pop them in the sweet, juicy, explodey parts and pop them in one go. But I'm not that good yet, so can't really get those juicy shots. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. I think the Harpy Cabin is still better for it than the Torero. The accuracy doesn't really do that much for me. I'd much rather have a little bit more explosion damage to get those juicy bits. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm almost at 10k subs, so help me out there if you're not subscribed yet. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.